Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Prophecy, prophecy. It's one of the most misunderstood, misused words ever spoken from the lips of human nature. Matter of fact, let me just read to you a scripture real quick, and it's Revelation chapter 19. The Bible says in verse 10, John, the revelator, receiving the revelation prophecy from Jesus Christ himself by and through uh, angels at some point, sometimes Jesus himself specifically speaking to him. Here's what he says in verse 10, Revelation 19, 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him and said unto, and he said unto me, now this was an angel that was appearing before John. And John said, I just fell at my feet to worship him. And he said, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Let me just say this again. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. If the prophetic word that you receive or someone else receives and you hear, if it is in any way not, in some way, revealing or recognizing or encouraging or explaining or uh revealing Jesus Christ, either his death, burial, or resurrection, or his soon coming return, then it's not a prophecy uh, that would be of concern to me. It may not be a prophecy from God at all. You don't take people who are prophesying, though, and throw them under the bus and call them all false prophets. But you do need to understand that even if you desire the gift of prophecy, which Paul said there are nine spiritual gifts, but I would that you all would prophesy. In other words, you know, that's the one, because that moves mountains. Now, I'm not talking about predictions. Prophecy is not predictions. Prophecy is revealing revelation knowledge that you can only receive from God himself. And prophecy sometimes is difficult. You may get a dream. You may get an open vision. You may get a word from the Lord, a word of knowledge a word of wisdom, a, a spiritual unction, and you may not know exactly what it means. Now, I want to say that uh, Bishop Katie Collins of the Harvest Army Church International in New York City, in the Bronx, New York, they have wrote a book called Pearls of Prophecy. And I'm only doing, I've never, you know, I got a, you know how many books I have? A lot of great books from great authors. And, the, you know, I rarely hold up somebody's book and say, this is something that might help you. But for those of you who are trying to understand the difference between Bible prophecy and individual prophetic words, and never will a prophecy from the Lord be contradictory to the Bible. Never, ever, ever. It's either A, you're not getting it from God. So, you know, pray about that. Number Or B, you don't understand it yet. And you still need more prayer on interpretation. I'm going to give you an example of that. Do you guys want to hear what I'm saying here today? I mean, first of all, you got to understand, Amos said these words in Amos chapter 3, verse 7. He said, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The Lord will never do anything without first revealing it to some of his prophets. And let in two or three witnesses, let every word be established. That will happen. That's why you'll see different people in different places either having the same type of dreams or getting spiritual revelation or preaching similar messages they're getting from God and they don't even speak to one another, okay? It just happens. It's God's anointing. Now, Amos also said in Amos chapter 8, verse 11, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but from hearing the words of the Lord. There's a famine coming. I believe we're already in it where we don't have true prophecy. We have sorcery. We have a lot of sorcery, witchcraft, tarot cards, palm readers, psychics, mediums, channelers, Hindu gurus. We got all kinds of uh, people trying to predict or forecast the future. That is not prophecy. It has nothing to do with prophecy. Prophecy has to do with the edification of the body of Christ and the revelation of the Lord, testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, 
There are different ways in this book, Pearls of Prophecy by Bishop Katie Collins. Um, and you can find this book, I guess, at their website. If you just go to Harvest Army Church International, if you go to their, uh, they got a YouTube channel here. It's a great YouTube channel. They give you a lot of prophecies, <clears throat> kind of keep you up to speed. But, uh, you know, the, the, you first have to understand the Lord does speak to people and, and you can desire this spiritual gift. And if you begin to receive it, you can receive it different ways. The or, you know, one would be through impartation. Uh, in 1 Timothy 4, 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, Paul said to Timothy, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of hands of the presbytery. So in other words, the, there can be an impartation of this spiritual gift. You can receive it through the laying on of hands, through the anointing, uh, you know, and, and, and we know that Elisha, got a double portion of the prophetic word of Elijah. He got a double a blessing, a double anointing, and a double spiritual prophetic insight than the prophet Elijah did. And we also know that Timothy received it by the laying of hands by Apostle Paul. All right, so we do know it's through uh, impartation. It can also be through adaptation. Uh, Daniel 9, 2 says, in the first year of the reign, of uh, Daniel, I, I understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. So you can receive it by understanding and repeating prophecies of old prophets. In other words, God can give you a fresh revelation from a revelation that God's already given a prophet. Like the, when you read the book of Ezekiel, the book of Daniel, the book of Jeremiah, the book of Amos, the book of Obadiah, Nahum, all right? Read, read the prophecies of these um, uh, Malachi and Micah. Go, read the prophecies, and they have received it. Now, God gave me a word. I mean, he's giving you, he gives you several words, okay? You get a lot of words from the Lord. If you operate in the prophetic, you will hear from God a lot because, you, you know, you're communicating with him. It's like a telephone call. You know, when you call me, if, if I don't ever talk to you, I'll ask you, who is this? But if I'm talking to you all the time, I already know who you are by your voice. And you start understanding the spirit of, does anybody want me to teach on this? And so what I'm telling you right now is this that uh, Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3, I realize it was a total different time frame. You can read the book of Hosea. You can see the spiritual condition that children of Israel were in during that time. I mean, they were in a horrific backslidden condition. Yet in Hosea chapter 4, 1, 2, and 3, it specifically God sent another revelation in this revelation. And he revealed it to me and said, this is the sins of the world. This is what's going on in the world right now. They're in a, the world is in a idolatry, whoredom, spiritual whoredom, backslidden condition, married to the spiritual harlot, just like Hosea was. And so there's going to be, because there's no truth, there's no mercy and no knowledge of God in the land. And because of the swearing, the lying, the killing, the stealing and committing adultery, they'll break out. Blood will touch blood. The land is going to languish. The land is going to mourn. The earth is going to groan. And there will be dead birds, dead fish, and dead beasts of the field. And this was a prophecy God gave Hosea, but it was a prophecy revelation he gave me in January of 2011. And since that time, I pro and I prophesied it, and I continue. I wrote a book about it. I was interviewed by CNN about it. I've been, you know, look. Ever since that day, Time Magazine wrote about it, it doesn't matter. God gave me a word, and that word has gone out. National Geographic did a documentary about me and it and mocked it. Doesn't change it. The birds, the fish, the cattle have been dying in mass quantities every day for four and a half years. Why? Because the Hosea prophecy revelation has been revealed. Now, I'm going to tell you now, uh, I don't have all the answers. And I don't even consider myself a prophet, although I do prophesy from time to time. Do you understand? For the spirit of prophecy, folks, it is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, Bible prophecy is different than prophetic words you may receive. Although, while studying Bible prophecy, you may get a spiritual revelation from prophecies already recorded. And that's why guys like Dr. Chuck Misler, Perry Stone, Dr. Jack Van Impey, 
Hal Lindsey, and there's several others. And now, now some of these guys like uh, the author, you know, Bill, Bill Callis and Joel Richardson and, and Paul McGuire and uh, some of these guys, this is why they're getting fresh words, Jonathan, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, and even some of our YouTubers that you may know, like uh, Rabbi Stephen Ben Danoon, uh, okay, or Daryl Myatt, or, uh, you know, I don't know, I could go on. I mean, there's several out there. Uh, Reverend T.D. Hale with his dreams. I mean, just several out there. This is why it's it's happening. Sons and daughters are prophesying, and the Lord is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. I'll be back with some current world events. I just felt like I should help you. This is just a, and, and really this Pearl's a prophecy book, and I'm not pushing it. They never called me up and asked me, hey, will you help us sell our book? Okay, I want you to know that right now. They never did that at all. I've read it, and it will help you. It helped me help us you in some and some parts of it you know you might say oh, i don't know about that that's okay this book will help you in the process of understanding the gift of prophecy it all comes back to the word though everything in their their little book is based on the book the word of god i'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to bible prophecy